we're gonna do we're gonna do a dark sky hopefully this doesn't come out too terrible but just ivory black and I'll throw some clouds up here afterwards or white clouds sorry <laughs> these already look like clouds This is just background. I don't know. Do we want water in this one? Maybe. Black water. Is that a thing? I think that's good enough. And this one, this idea is from Erica. She posted on one of the last videos and suggested it. The a painting in the style of Banksy with a, a cabin and a tree. And then the one before this, this was that was Billy's suggestion with the uh, space sci-fi themes. All right, we're just gonna fill this out to the bottom or to the middle. Sorry, not the bottom. one more time down here something like that not too bad not too bad all right now we'll get the titanium white we're just gonna do I call these the easy clouds but you can call them whatever you want they're just clouds two and a half inch brush tap on it so it's only the top corner and then I just try to aim so there's some dark there so I'll try to aim there try to aim there there's some there up there that's where I try to aim with the corner. And then some up here. Something like that. And then you just blend out using the other half, the bottom half. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm aiming the uh, I'm aiming the brush kind of at a back angle like that. And then blend the tops. Same over here. here and up here I don't know if you can see that one it's a little dark up there so and there's a lot of glare might move the might move the light back for the next stream all right let's wipe this off wipe that brush off I haven't seen Nightbot in, so I wonder if it's broken. It's usually in there sending the links and stuff, moderating and whatnot. Well, maybe it's not. All right, here we go. You want to do the mountains? Let's do mountains. I think I said I was going to do some mountains, so let's do some of the mountains. All right. Just use black because that's all we got black and white. A little roll. How big do we want them? Let's make them big. There's one more little peak down here. And we'll do one that comes up into the middle there. Back down. Hold down to the right. I don't think I'm going to use the, well, maybe I'll use the two and a half inch brush to blend this out, but I don't really want to. Well, you can try it. In my recent ones, I've just, I haven't even been blending out the bottoms of the paint of the mountains. I've just been using the palette knife and stopping there. And it usually works pretty good. Lots of pressure there. Lots of pressure. Lots of pressure. All right, blend out the rest. I'll tap that out anyways. It doesn't. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about that. Here we go. 
Now we gotta do some highlights on the mountain. We'll use white, because that's all we got. I like pulling it out first before I go into highlight. And so I pull multiple times, but you can pull really however you, whatever works for you. So how many times you can pull when you're doing these highlights. It's personal, it's a personal preference. Like everybody has their own opinion on how they want to do that. This one comes up there, come back up, comes down. Pull that down a little bit, bend them out. Kind of missed the top corner here, so I'm going to go back in and fix that. You don't really want your highlights to be on the outside or the inside of the mountain edge. Fender 31, hey Fender, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's kind of dreary where I am. Very, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it looks kind of like this outside, to be honest. This kind of weather is what we've been getting after that Hurricane Ian. All right, and then there, I'm just gonna do some of that and then maybe pull, pull this edge down. All right, to do a shadow side, we'll just add some black to that white. Or shadow highlight, sorry. Hope you're doing great. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say great. I had to spend most of the day cleaning up my yard from all the wind, debris, debris. Ooh, there we go. That's good. I'm doing all right. It's good to be on the on the stream. It always, it always cheers me up. See folks. See folks in the chat tuning in. Talk to them. All right, I'm just going to use the rest of this black and white mixture. Hopefully, it lasts. Might have to mix some more, but I don't think I will. Just use the leftover. This should be good enough for the mountain. All right. Now we'll tap the bottom. That's what we got. Tap the bottom, fluff up, kind of like the clouds. There we go. There we go, and now trees, maybe? A tree line? I gotta, figure, I gotta think about real quick where I wanted to put the cabin and the tree. Maybe the tree can come up here. Nice big old tree, cabin in the middle. That should work. <laughs> All right, we'll go fan brush, ivory black, small amount of white, maybe a little bit more. Ah, there we go. That's good for now, at least the back trees. And I like these to be, normally they, they, they're like straight up and down, but I kind of like them to be rounded. And to do that, I kind of do a little a little swoosh. So I mash down and then I do a little swoosh. Tap down, swoosh. And it just makes them, makes them look like rounded trees instead of the old typical Bob Ross pines, background pines. He always just did them like this. And fold them in, but I just like doing make them look round, fluffy, a little crazy. Something like that. Maybe this one's big. I don't know. Do we want water here? Sure. Just kind of aim for the general shape that I have up top. There we go. We'll pull that down with the two and a half inch. Right to left. 
whatever works for you. All right, should we do another layer? Maybe one more, maybe one more layer in front. Move everything down a bit. And you're saying this is us covering up those reflections you did. Yeah, that's fine. You can cover up reflections. They're there in spirit. Maybe this one's just over here, just on this side. Same over here. All right. Tap it down a little bit. Just making the same general shapes. Almost looks kind of foggy back there in the background. I probably need to grab a little bit more ivory black before I do the cabin. So let's do that. Pull this down first. Pull to the right. There we go. I'll go grab just a little bit of the ivory black. Just one second. I do wish I could get a stand for all of my paints, but I just haven't been able to yet. We'll get it eventually. Just one of the things. Maybe for Christmas this year we'll get a we'll get that. I think I need a what's it called dot board. And I can just hang it up on the wall here on the left. That should work. Alright. So we've got those. Kinda wanna put some shorelines out here. Hey, a quick one in the background. We'll do the same up here. I'll blend these out too. I always blend my shorelines out. I don't know why. I just just what I do. Just what I do when I do these water lines with the old fan brush. Very light though. Fixes all the all the stuff that I didn't like about it when I do this. All right, there we go. I think that's okay. What do y'all think? Let's add the cabin now. We're gonna add a cabin somewhere. Where are we gonna add a cabin? Maybe we need another plane. Maybe we'll add them over here. Just created land out of nothing. All right, here we go. Backside first. Front side. Pull down. Pull down. And then I can add like bushes and whatnot around it once I get this filled in. There we go. That's a lot of. A lot of ivory black here. All right. Pull them down a little bit more. Pull that down. All right, I think that's good enough. And then we can tap white, white paint up on top. side, down this side, there we go, we're just outlining them now, and then I'm just going to tap to do, make it look like shingles, or a roof in general, there we go, 
Maybe one more down this side. Doesn't hurt. Now we'll highlight the front. Pick up a lot of black color here, which will help with the highlights because you just go over it one more time and that makes it not so strong. We don't want strong colors on this cabin. Through the back side. One more time here, straighten them up. There we go. Now I'll grab the black on the small side. A little line there. And I had some white on it and it came out on the side and I actually made it a nice little highlight there. So I'm going to leave that that way. Because that actually looks kind of nice. All right. I have paint all over this palette now, so I'm going to try to <laughs> wipe the corners off before I touch it again. We'll go back into the basically the ivory black and the white. Put in some bushes here. Something like that. Looks okay. He's just hanging out there. And now, this is going to be the crazy part. We're going to add color to the black and white. But I don't know which side. I think I said I was going to do it on this side. And there is a big space there, so maybe we'll put it over there. Let's do that. All right. To do that, we're going to use Hans of Yellow and a little bit of black. Should make a green color. Yeah, nice green. <laughs> this is gonna be really weird. Hopefully it comes out not dark enough. A little more black. It's gotta be dark, but not super dark. I'm just gonna do the trunk first. I'm just going to send it all the way down the side. <laughs> then we'll add in uh, some leaves here. Actually, before I do that, I might want to add in... I'm going to do this first. I should have done this first, but... Add in some branches. It looks a little... It's a little weird when it's a bunch of leaves on nothing, if that makes sense. Leaves got to be stuck to something. You can't just be floating out there on nothing. Add some more down here. Getting stuck to the white, but that's okay. Here we go. Could do the whole tree with the uh, fan brush, but I guess it's good enough. pretty interesting. Go back into this. Maybe darken up the trunk a little bit here and there. Just a little bit. A little hard to see, but I think that makes sense. Doesn't look terrible. Maybe we'll do the same on the other side. Well, looks like he could use a friend. A couple of big trees to fence him in. the green 
again. Maybe a little bit of red. Does that make brown? I think so. We'll see. We'll see. No, oh, that looks good. That looks like a tree. Just pull them straight down. Picking up a lot of the dark color that was there, but that's okay. It's done its part. All right. Just wiped them off a little bit. We'll go back into the dark ivory black. Just on the end, really on the very tip. We'll throw in another branch up here. Oh, messed them up a little bit. That's one thing. Trees have to be thicker at the end than at the front, or at this side than that side. <laughs> they always taper. That's the word I was looking for. Trees always taper. See, like right there, that doesn't make sense because this end should be smaller than that end. All right, we'll do one more. Maybe this one goes up. that. Pretty interesting one today. Alright, we'll go back to the yellow. We'll just use all this dark color first. of the yellow, maybe brighten it up with some white. And then put that on the highlights over here. Here and there. <laughs> that was a weird that was a very interesting thing. I've never Another interesting stream today. I've never painted anything like these. <laughs> Alright. Is that too weird? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's okay. I'm happy with it. <laughs> Just trying new stuff today. I feel like I should aim this more up. Might have been aimed too straight at the camera. The light was. All right, I think that's okay for today. Restream chat's been busted, so I'm sorry if I missed any chats or if any, anything popped up. Feel free to leave comments on the video. I'll answer you after that, after the stream. All right, let's take the old brush here, script liner. Put a signature, I'll put it down here. Sign it real quick. Oh, there we go. And WJ22, there we go. All right, so yeah, here's a painting suggested by Erica. So to do a Banksy-esque black and white with some a very few colorful subjects in the painting. So here we go. I don't know what I'm going to call this one, but yeah, there's this one. I'll have to try it. Oh, there. I got a message from Elvis. There you go. Restream's just very slow. Here we go. Yep. So that's the, that's this one in the style of Banksy. 